Today, on 3R Ballistics, we test out two of the most proven 30 caliber cartridges, the 308 Winchester and the 300 Winchester Magnum. Pull that bullet down, and holy smokes. So this isn't so much a comparison video as it is a demonstration of speed and energy. As we're using the same projectile, a 178 grain Precision Hunter bullet by Hornady. So in reality the only difference between the two cartridges will be the velocity. We'll be testing out to 500 yards which should give us over 500 foot pounds of energy difference when hitting the clay. Now let's see if we can capture the energy difference and the projectile. Off to the range. Welcome back to 3R Ballistics and we are coming to hunting season for all those out there. We uh, are in archery already and we got a request to do some bullet testing for the Precision Hunter and we decided to do a realistic length 500 yards. We have clay blocks out there. 10 by, I believe they're 10 by 12, 18 inches deep, about 150 pounds. And what we want to do is we want to compare the 300 Win Mag versus the 308. These are both 178 grain. They are both the ELDX and Precision Hunter. And there is going to be roughly 500 foot pounds of energy less at 500 yards. We want to see if we can capture the bullets, what the difference is in the bullet. We want to see what the difference is on the clay and from there if we can put the clay together we also have a 30-06 178 grain also we're gonna to try to hit the clay capture that bullet and give you all the data on that so let's get going and see what we could do so we're gonna go ahead and start with the 308 on the left block of clay we did one test shot the velocity came in at 2554 these are supposed to be going 2600 we also have about a seven mile an hour wind coming out of the seven o'clock position. So we're gonna try to account for that and see exactly what we can get. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, velocity 25. 43. Okay, well I'm glad we went and took a look at that down there. We hit it on the top right corner. It veered down and out the top. So I pushed that clay back together a little bit. We're gonna give this a second attempt. So here we go, second attempt. I'll have to hold a little further left. Boom. Walking up to this, I'm sure you could see, <laughs> uh, we have some massive wound uh, tracks here. It looks like the 300 wind mag may have snuck out the back. We might try to do that again. It looks like this in front is 12 inches in diameter. We were well past 14 inches. The 308 we actually caught. It is at the very, very back of the of that. Um, finding this is gonna be a little bit harder. 
I'm gonna say that's about eight inches. And it looks like the penetration was about, I'm hitting it right there and it is, yep, 16 inches. So unfortunately the wind noise got a little bad on the microphone here, but I wanted to show where the 308 was ending up on the last block of clay and the wound tract is pretty small there. So we went ahead, opened it up, and that's uh, what we got right there. That's the 308. That was what was left. And now I'm gonna put all the clay together since I was not able to catch the 300 wind mag. It was producing a lot more energy than I actually thought. Uh, so let me smash together the clay and let's try the 300 wind mag one more time. 300 wind mag second attempt. All right, whenever you're good. Okay, so once again, we're walking up to the bigger clay block. And this is what the 300 win mag did. <laughs> As you can see, it's roughly the same, about 12 inches in the opening. The penetration is actually seems a little bit less, could be the speed. And it's about 16 inches also. Well, we're gonna put this back together. Well, we're gonna find the bullet first, put it back together and see if we could do the 30 out six. I wanted to show you where the 300 wind mag ended and I thought I might as well get a measurement. We are actually looking at about 14 inches of penetration. Sure that has to do with the higher speed and velocity. So let's pull that bullet out and holy smokes. There's some of the jacket did fall off right there. Um, but that is all that is left from this one. 300 wind mag. So we have sighted in the 30 out six. We're getting about 2707, 2715. So just under the 27, they advertised 2750 from Hornady. Uh... Okay, while I did manage to hit the clay three times, I was unsuccessful in retrieving the 30 6 bullet. And I could give all sorts of excuses, but I was just tired. The scope is not the best, being a little lazy, and I'm just not as confident or comfortable behind that 30 6 So let's take a closer look at the two bullets I did manage to recover. Okay, we have the 300 wind mag right here. Scale is set to zero. And let's see, we were able to retain 67.3 grains. And this is basically what was left. So at 500 yards, I mean, you lose a bit. That thing hits it hard. Moving on, we, we have the 308. Back at zero. We re, let's see, 100 and, 115 grains, 115.1 grains for the 308 at 500 yards. So in conclusion, I think the clay did a good job at showing the amount of energy difference velocity can make. 500 foot pounds really showed in the clay. We had one uh, temporary wound cavity that was, you know, nearly twice the size in volume. So if you guys like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And until the next one.